Hey, welcome back. This month, I want to discuss the importance of sleep. It may have been a topic I've covered before, but if so, it's probably been a while. Um, I think if we understood the importance of what happens when we sleep, we would understand the importance of getting more sleep. Does that make sense? There are two or three vital things that happen when we sleep. Number one is our body is in recovery mode. So what happens with your brain? What happens with all of your foods that you've eaten throughout the day and how your body replaces proteins, carbohydrates, how your body uses liquid that you've drunk uh, throughout the day, and what happens from a muscle recovery standpoint based on what you've done in the gym, whether you went for a run outside, inside, whether you lifted weights or not, all of those things matter into how you're gonna recover. So you can see how nutrition and your training and your sleep go hand in hand in hand. They all work together. The other thing that happens when we sleep is our body is replacing hormones. That's huge for how our body functions. Have you ever been in a meeting or in class and you just are not with it? Maybe a little head bob action going on. You might need a monster energy drink or a coffee or some kind of Red Bull type situation. That's a problem, right? Here's what I think most people fail to understand. A two or three day cycle or window of not getting enough sleep can play out over a longer period of time than just the two or three day window that you're thinking about when it comes to your sleep. So if you're kind that's up at 6.30 or 7 and you're not in bed till after 10.30, those are pretty long days and you're giving yourself a very slim window of time for your brain to recover, your muscles to recover, and all of your hormones to be replaced. Does that make sense? The other thing to consider, for those of you that might be wearing a Fitbit or a Whoop or some type of product that tells you what kind of sleep you've gotten, it will tell you if you've had a restless night, if you tossed or turned, and it will tell you if your body's, quote, good to go for the next day's workout. But unless you did some kind of sleep study where they actually have things going into your brain and monitoring your heart rate and how much you're actually moving on video, I don't think we really understand how many hours of quality sleep we're actually getting. Where the rest, the recovery, the hormone replacement, your muscles recovering, all of that's actually happening. So, do some research on it. Look it up for yourself. Don't just use Google. Go get a book on it. Do an audio book. Listen to a podcast or three or four on the importance of sleep. Listen to a TED Talk on YouTube and start to do a little research on the importance of sleep. For those of you that are new parents, like myself, you know what it's like when you're not getting sleep. You're a zombie the next day or two or three. So, put your phone down, turn off Netflix, Quit procrastinating on a project, your homework, whatever it might be, a meeting that you're prepping for, and go to bed. Use your time wisely, be efficient, and get the sleep that your body requires. All right? No more ranting. Do some research for yourself. Look it up. Talk to you soon.